Now that we've created links or connections between our text boxes, let me show you how this works. On page 2 I'm going to click on the top text box and I'm going to change my font using the font drop down on the home tab to Arial. And I'm going to choose a bigger font size so these boxes fill up quickly just to illustrate the idea. So I'm going to choose font size 28. Alright, so as I test Notice how as soon as the first box is full, it moves into the second box. All right, and again these little red screaming at me placeholders mean that this box is not large enough so I'm just going to drag the bottom um, placeholder or handle down and just increase the size of it until such point as I can see the text and the little red placeholders are not screaming at me. If I then hit the little arrow I can move between the various text boxes that are linked and you saw now how we type the text and as soon as you type the text once it exceeds the volume of text exceeds the size of the text box it will automatically flow into another text box which is really brilliant because it also goes across pages um, so yeah now what I want to do is create continuation notices as well on page 2 and particularly the last text box what I'd like to do here on the text box tools format tab in the ribbon and particularly the text group hit the text dialog box launcher which is showing me format text box what we have here are two little tick options I could include a continue on page notice so that when this box fills up it says continued on page and it tells them what page the story is continued on much like some of the newspapers we pick up nowadays so I'm going to include continued on page and OK and if I just zoom in a little bit it says continued on page 3 now if I move to page 3 what I can add to this box is a continued from notice so I'll go back to my text box tools format tab and my text dialog box launcher and I'll ask for a continued from page All right so it's going to include a continue from page and OK and here I have continued from page 2 so continuation notices are very very good to help the reader follow where the information is continued on what page and where the information has been continued from now other little options that I noticed in there if we go back to the text dialog box launcher is sometimes it's nice to format a text box in terms of say its margins when I look at a text box this little like gap between the outside of the text box and the text itself this little gap here is the text box margin and it's currently set to 0.1 of a centimeter if you want to increase or decrease the little text box margin you do so in here also the vertical alignment of the text in that text box just excuse me for a minute because those little red handles are annoying me I'll just stretch it a bit more there 
All right, let's go back to that text box dialog box launcher. So the text that's in that box is currently vertically aligned to the top, but I could say vertically align it to the middle, which is sort of previewed here, or vertically align it to the bottom. I might go with middle and OK. And if I stretch this box a little further, you'll see that the text is ultimately going to sit in the middle. Let's just try that again. Vertical alignment, text box, vertical alignment, middle. Mm. All right, margins, rotate text, and columns. Sometimes people like to put what's in a text box into columns. So if I click the columns button, I can say, look, give me two columns. Um, and the spacing between those two columns could be increased or decreased if you chose to. But let's just go OK. And immediately when I go OK again, I've got two columns in the one text box. Myself, I'd probably make two text boxes and connect them, but this is an alternative way. You've also got a columns button here on your text box tools format tab, and I can put it back to one column effectively and undo the two columns that way. I could also adjust my margins as well using this button here, which is quite good. And here's the alignment options here as well that we were looking at. So those are sorts of um, options that you can get under the alignment group, or you could get them by going to the text dialog box launcher and working with them in here.